Hey gang. How many of you out there watching this right now can sit there and go, oh, that thing. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm here at, uh, I have no idea. It's uh, some place that sells, well, let's kind of get a little scan over it. Uh, see a lot of stuff in here. Um, I'm guessing it's supposed to be sort of like a, some sort of thrift store or something like that. I'm not really sure. Um, but I, I walk by here quite often and I would see that lawnmower and I wanted to come down here and do a quick video sharing some lawnmower horror stories um, with you guys, especially with one of those bad boys there. Um, I, I guess it kind of starts with, uh, you know, back when, uh, when I was still going to school and school let out and of course you know my parents would always tell me you know like go out there and get a summer job and I would and and uh you know I would I would try to do like yard work lawn mowing that sort of thing and uh one time I went to go work for this uh for this older man and I saw that sitting outside of his shed and I thought okay well obviously he wants me to use that so I did and so I went and grabbed it and started trying to push the thing, and it, and the wheels wouldn't hardly move, and the blades wouldn't hardly cut the grass. And after about 20 minutes, he comes outside and he goes, "What are you doing?" And I said, uh, "I said I'm trying to cut your grass with this thing." He goes, "Why?" I said, "I I thought that's what you had." He goes, "No, here, let me let me get the uh, motorized push mower out for you." And and I wound up, you know, making some good money and. Um, and everything like that and uh... yeah those things are a pain in the neck to, to use and deal with but uh... there is an, an unfortunate story to tell, to, tell, uh, to, uh, to tell you guys about and it's one about this guy I used to work with named Thomas now when I first started working with Thomas he promised lots and lots of working gigs um, lawn mowing, tearing down old sheds, houses even, and everything like that, but uh, the last lawn mowing gig I did with him, it was a lawn mowing and a weed eating gig. Now, I told him, I said, look, I've never used a weed eater before. He said, it's real easy, just, you know, just, it, it's, just it's like lawn mowing, except you just, you just hold it and you you know, set it down against grass and cut it all up and everything like that. So I said, okay. Unfortunately, the weed eater I was using kept breaking down and little coil strings would break every time, just, you know, after about three or four minutes of cutting grass and everything like that. And the really pain in the butt part about it was, was that, uh, was having Thomas every 10, 15 minutes wanting to switch. You know, I was like, let me do the weed eating, you do the lawn mowing. I'd be like, okay, so i do the lawn mowing. And, and it just kept going on and on and on like this all day long. And so it came time for us to get paid. And, and you know, usually we would, we would split the money right down the middle. Except this time around. We were paid 50 bucks to split, which I was cool with. You know, $25 for a lawn mowing gig, that's great. You know, that's that's more than enough for me to to say, hey, cool deal on, you know. So, so it comes time for me to go get the money, and he sits there and tells me, oh well, I had to take about uh, I had to take about thirty five out of the fifty because, uh, you know, well my son and I needed it for groceries and stuff like that. So I went, oh, that's cool, no big deal, you know. And then I later on found out from his ex-girlfriend that it turns out that he was really uh, using most of the money for his chewing tobacco because Thomas had a really bad um, tobacco spitting habit. So, so after that, I pretty much just uh, anytime he came and said, you know, oh, I got a big paying gig for the both of us and like that, I would tell him, oh, sorry, dude, I'm too busy. And I saw him around, I think it was around late last year, and honestly, gang, he looks in really, really, really bad shape. Um, but he's still dipping. So that, that to me is like, uh, dude, your health is bad, you look terrible, and yet you're still dipping. Okay. Some people never learn, I guess. And, um, 
And he still tried to offer me more gigs, and I said, no, man, I'm, I'm, I'm busy. I got lots of gigs around town, and I'm working for the roommates and stuff like that. So, you know, I tell him I do yard sales once a month and everything like that, so I make pretty good money from that. And he goes, oh, okay, that's all right, that's cool. And I'm like, yeah. And I thought, dude, in the shape you're in, you ought to be lucky. You're, you can even leave the house and go walking around town. So, <laughs> so yeah, so there's my lawnmower horror stories, I guess you could say, especially with one of those things. And I got to ask you, gang, if you've ever used one of those, <laughs> please share your own personal horror stories of using one of those things down in the comments below. Or if you'd like to do a story video based on it, love to hear from you guys and love to check it out sometime. And if you like my videos, please feel free to subscribe. I'm going to get on out of here and get this bad boy uploaded because, well, some rain hit here earlier, which was kind of unexpected. And I got some laundry I got to go pick up, so... Yeah, so thanks for watching, everybody. God bless you all, and I hate that lawnmower. <laughs> Take care of yourselves. Thanks for watching, and as always, stay strong and rock on.